The 20th Anzac Day showpiece here from the Sydney Cricket Ground. Good afternoon and welcome to this most reverent of rugby league events. Of the 19 games played so far, the Dragons have won 11 and the Roosters have won eight. Such a fitting venue here, the SCG, a ground which was first established in 1848 and has stood tall as a major Sydney landmark since well before the outbreak of both the world wars. But were it not for the immense bravery and selflessness of our armed forces, days like today may not even be possible. Sunshine, an expectant crowd, many champion players and two champion clubs. It is the most grand of occasions and a highlight of the NRL schedule each year. The Dragons and the Roosters lining up. The football, a highlight of Anzac Day, but the ceremony that leads into the game itself is always uh, very sombre and very poignant. Let's go to the ground now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are able, please stand for today's remembrance ceremony. And please welcome once again our official party. The Anzac Day Ode will be read today by Ray James, RSL New South Wales President. Corporal Dilkins will play the last post, followed by a moment's silence and then the rouse. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end, against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. That's what he did. I get. Catafalt Party present arms.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the national anthems of New Zealand and Australia.